What? The cam is the camera crooked? The camera's a little crooked. It's because I forgot my tripod. Forgot the gorilla grip. Anyways, what are we learning on the trumpet? What have we learned on the trumpet? So far we know how to play the C scale, we know how to play Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. What are some techniques and skills you need to play the trumpet even better? Well, one is you need lip control. All right, and you can get that if you can change notes without pressing any of the valves. So what are the notes that you can play all open? All right, all open, no valves. You can go C, G, C, and high E. All right, let's see what that sounds like. Don't press anything down, just hold the trumpet. Here's your C. <laughs> G. And then do the higher C. And you want to hold, you want to be able to sustain a note. When you're able to sustain a note, you build better lungs. Have strong lungs when you play the trumpet. Go for a jog, go for a run. Get stronger lungs, man. All right, so look, here we go. So we got the C, G, C. So that's pretty basic. Um, once we get moving um, on notes that are higher than that, it's going to get to an advanced level. So let's just keep practicing the CGC over and over again, right? Let's do it again. Let's hold it as long as we can. Take a deep breath, okay? Take a deep breath. Oh, that was bad at the end. But anyways, uh, the clarity of your notes. When you want a, when you want, well, of course you want, of course you want a clear note. Okay, of course you want that. But how do you get that? Um, you have to have the air moving consistently through your lips without changing the lip movement. Okay, you can't. You have that airflow has has to be consistently going through the same size hole. When I say hole, I mean the hole in your lips. When you go like that, it has to be, it has to consistently move through the same space. If it moves even a little bit, it's going to change the note. Uh, it, it might not change the note, but it's gonna you're gonna get a raspy sound. It's gonna get a, you're gonna get a sound like this any time any time you move your lips, you'll get a sound like this. So when you find your note, make sure you commit to that note and just don't even move your uh, lips. Keep that position, okay? Uh, but when you change notes, when you go from C to G, you have to change your lips quickly. So C to G, look. That's C, G, C, G, C, G. Look, I'm not even pressing any valves. Uh, it's all um, going through with without pushing any of the valves down, but you got to change the tightness of your lips. C, G, C, G. Let's do that. Let's practice that five times. If you hear any break, that's because my lips aren't moving fast enough when I'm changing notes, okay? You gotta be, you have to, you have to know exactly how your lips will be positioned when you're changing the notes. Okay, so let's go back, let's go back to the C, G, C, up and down. C, G, C, up and down. Learn how to breathe through your nose so you don't have to adjust uh, your lip position when you're breathing through your mouth. So breathe through your nose. 
Read through notes. And remember, you you don't gotta be a uh, you don't have to be a dork if you're in band. Okay, okay. You can be cool and play the trumpet. You can be cool, play the clarinet, trombone, whatever. It's music, man. Who cares what people have to say?